All right, in the final video for the life cycles unit, I'm gonna talk about frogs and mammals. So the frog life cycle starts the same way every other life cycle we've learned about starts with. In fact, every single life cycle on the planet starts this way. We have an egg. And then that the egg in this case is then going to grow into a tadpole. And then it's going to become a tadpole with legs. And then it's going to become a young frog. And then an adult frog. All right. So let's go over each of these stages in a little bit more detail. So frogs lay many, many jelly covered eggs each season. Now out in the wild, only about one out of every 40 frog eggs will actually grow into be an adult frog. So they have to lay quite a few eggs just to make up for all the ones that don't hatch or the tadpoles that get eaten by predators or other things like that. So frogs are gonna lay lots of eggs, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're all going to hatch. The jelly covering, um, it deters, so that means it doesn't prevent, but it discourages other animals from eating the eggs because it often doesn't taste good to many animals. So that's one way to protect the eggs. Um, the eggs don't have a shell or anything like that to protect them because they're laid underwater. So the eggs do not have a shell. Oh, you know what, I wanted this to say, they don't have a hard shell because they do have sort of like a soft shell. Um, so they have to be laid in water because part of what a hard shell does is keep water inside of the egg so that it doesn't dry out and the creature can keep growing. Um, creatures um, need, all organisms need water to develop. It helps grow new structures. Um, so uh, the eggs have to be laid in water for frogs because they don't have a hard shell to keep the water inside. So they are laid in water so they do not dry out. Now, pretty quickly from the egg, a tadpole is going to hatch out. And I shared a video with you guys if you want to watch this happen as a time lapse. It's pretty cool. Um, you can watch a tadpole. They'll, they only take a couple days to hatch from the egg. When tadpoles hatch, they're really vulnerable. They can't even swim um, at first. So uh, that's why not all tadpoles make it to be frogs. So some of the tadpoles will hatch from the egg. The tadpole is, yep, the eating and growing stage of the frog. The tadpole has a tail and it uses gills to breathe like a fish. So tadpoles have two characteristics, and that is that they have a long tail and they breathe like fish using gills. And the difference between a tadpole and a young frog is that the young frog breathes with lungs, but it still has some of its tail left over. And so as it's growing all four legs and getting rid of this tail, it's slowly transitioning into an adult. The adult frog has all four legs, no tail, and the key quality is that it's able to reproduce. Lastly, we're gonna talk about mammals. So mammals, the main qualification here is that they are animals that give birth to live young. Now, almost immediately as I say that, I have to put a star here because that's not true of all mammals. Some of the coolest mammals are these animals called monotreme mammals, and there's only two of them in the whole world, the platypus and the echidna. And these guys are special because they're mammals. They have fur, 
They nurse their young with milk, and they're warm-blooded, so those are the other three characteristics of a mammal. But they break one of the rules because they lay eggs. So weird. As if the platypus and the echidna weren't weird enough already, right? This guy's got a poisonous claw and a duck bill and a big wide tail like a beaver. And this one is a spiny anteater that looks kind of like a hedgehog. So weird. They also lay eggs. So these are a special exception to the rule that mammals give birth to live young. The young of most mammals develop inside of the mother's body and are nourished by her blood supply while she's growing them. And then after her body, after she births them, they're nourished by milk. Mammals are born looking like small versions of the adults they will become. So mammals don't go through metamorphosis. There are some special mammals. So monotreme was one special category of mammals. The other one you might be more familiar with. These are called marsupials. So think koalas, kangaroos, red pandas, lots of, lots of marsupials. And they're going to give birth to their young when they are much smaller. By the way, most marsupials live where? In Australia. Uh, marsupials actually aren't very good at competing for resources, so it's kind of interesting that a bunch of them live on one continent. What's the only marsupial in North America? I'm not gonna give you the answer. Don't look it up online. See if you can find somebody who knows it, or if you can think of it. What's the only marsupial left in North America? See if you can bring the answer to our Zoom meeting. We'll talk about it there, because it's kind of a fun one. Uh, the young then finish developing inside of their mother's pouch. So the, the young of marsupials are born really underdeveloped. I um, mean, they're very, 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 very tiny. So they have to finish developing inside the pouch of the mother for several months, usually after they are born. For instance, when a baby kangaroo is born, it's just about the size of a jelly bean when it crawls into the pouch. So it's very, very, very tiny compared to an adult kangaroo. So it has a lot of developing left to do still in the mother's pouch, but it can um, eat and grow inside of the pouch and it's relatively protected from the outside world. Pretty cool. And that wraps up our unit on life cycles.